Welcome to this day episode. God bless you. I want to talk about mistakes that cannot be corrected. There are many mistakes we can correct, but there is one particular mistake that cannot be corrected. Whosoever that made that mistake will regret it all the days of eternity, not only in this world, but the days of eternity. Please, when you come and encounter this message, don't be offended for the corrections God is giving you. It is out of love and the mercy of God that you are hearing this message today. Please, click to subscribe button or to follow button, depending on the platform you are watching me right now so that you can be receiving more updates. God bless you. The time has come that every preacher will love the congregation. And the time has come that every follower, every worshiper will desire eternity. As Bible told us that if our hope is only in this world, we are of all men most miserable. That is to tell us that we should have another desire, we should plan for another place. As I said, that man is not dying, but man is relocating. So we must come to a, that stage that we all will desire for eternity. I am not talking about your church here. I am not talking about your faith here. I am not talking about your belief, what you believe and what you disbelieve. I have nothing to talk about the doctrine of your church or the dogma or the, the laws and regulations of your church. I have no problem with those ones, but I want to focus on the word of God. So when you hear this word of God and you discover that it's contradicting what you are practicing today, maybe you believe those things or you didn't, but you are practicing it, you discover that what the, the word of God you are hearing now is contradicting those things. It is a precious advice that we all come to a stage we choose to obey what God said. Don't forget that on the last day, it is not our pastor that will judge us. I want to remind you that on the last day, it is not the bishop of your church, or the pope of your church, or the reverend father of your church, or the prophet of your church, or the minister in your church will judge you. Remember that on the last day, it is the Almighty God that will judge you and I. And remember that what God will use to judge us will not be based on what pastor preach, or what your teacher teach you, or what your reverend father teach you, but it must be according to the written word of God, according to the written word of God, whether you have been taught in that area or not, but as long as it is written in the Bible, that is what God will use to judge you and I. This area of idol worship is something that is very, very offensive to many people when they hear it. A lot of us, we are, we are very offended when God sends someone to correct us. I want you to know that nobody knows it all and nobody understands everything about God. But God is so kind that he makes sure that he send preachers, he send messengers to us in one way or the other so that we'll be corrected now we are still alive. Because I believe that when we die and appear before God and the Lord begin to judge us and we discover that those things we practice in our church, that a preacher in our church told us that is the best, we discover that is, is, is false. There is no opportunity to come back to amend it. That is why I titled this message, The Mistakes That Can Never Be Corrected, or A Mistake That Can Never Be Corrected. So when we understand that we all will stand on the judgment seat of Christ on the last day, we must come to understand the scripture. I advise you that is watching this message right now. Time has come that you will go to your Bible, carry your Bible by yourself, Open the word of God. You have access to God's word. Read it by yourself so that you will not be deceived. 
Let us not be carried away with all these messages we are hearing there, here and there. Or sometimes we say that is how the church has been doing it before we were born. And therefore, what we are practicing in our holding this church should happen to be the best without knowing whether it is best before God or not. God is a jealous God. As a man cannot tolerate any other man that has sexual intercourse with his wife, a man that catch another man with his wife having intercourse will go extra mile to harm that man because that man is jealous of his wife. Likewise God in the area of idol. But there is a modernization of idol in our days. Idol have been modernized. So Satan hide himself in civilization in such a way that people cannot be able to discover this is devil. People cannot be able to discover this is Satan. And that is all that devil is benefiting in, this, in these days called the last day. Idol worship is no longer uh, uh, when you see a molten image or in a shrine or people bowing down to a molten image or one thing or the other. That, it is an idol worship but it is no longer only that way. Because the highest way Satan makes sure that everybody worship him is through ignorance. But the scripture presents solution to those things. What is an idol? Idol is anything that you pray to, you worship, anything that receives your prayer. You have faith that you will get the answer in return. If it is not Almighty God, it is an idol. I want to tell you today that results, you are receiving results in what you are doing, does not mean that the result shows that God is the one doing it. Because it is the result that devil used to deceive many people this end time. Result. Oh, I did this thing, I have result. I did the other one, I have result. But if we can go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 44, Jeremiah chapter 44, we understand the time God sent Jeremiah to tell children of Israel to stop worshipping idol. And the children of Israel replied back to Jeremiah and said, we are not ready to listen to you for what you are telling us in the name of the Lord. We are not careful to know what you are telling us. We will continue burning incense to the Queen of Heaven, that demon called Queen of Heaven. We will continue burning incense to that demon because as we are doing it all these years, we, our wives and our children, we have material things in abundance. We have favor in abundance. We have blessing in abundance. So because of the result these children of Israel we are receiving from that deity called Queen of Heaven, they concluded that they didn't need Almighty God anymore. That is to tell you that every spiritual being has the power to command physical results you are looking for. So that you are getting results in different areas of your life does not mean that it's Almighty God. You are having results here and there does not mean that it's Almighty God. We must understand what the, we must understand the way Satan is hiding himself in this end time. We must understand the way the devil is hiding himself in this end time. Result does not mean that it's Almighty God. And the time has come that we will go beyond results and look for God, we must go beyond the result and look for God. There is that argument that is going on. Sometimes people are arguing and say, our church is started before your church. We, we are the first people to start before you. We are this and that. But I want you to know, if you check very well and you discover that what you are doing is contradicting scripture, Stop whatsoever you are doing that your church told you to be doing or that your church believe that is giving you result but is contradicting scripture. Stop doing it because the Lord will judge you on the last day. The Lord will judge you on the last day. We must understand that one. Don't make a mistake that you cannot be corrected. Don't make a mistake that you will regret for eternity. Don't make a mistake, you regret for eternity. Somebody say, oh, but I am playing, I am praying chaplet and he's working for me. I am using this cross. Anytime I use this cross, he's working for me. Anytime I use this, he's working for me. Stop looking for results. Let us go to God's word. We are not condemning any church. I am not condemning any church here, but I am presenting the truth of the 
gospel to you because God loves you. God do not want you to serve devil ignorantly. That day, Paul was crying and regretting over the worship of children of Israel. Paul said that, oh, my countrymen, children of Israel are worshiping ignorantly. They have zeal to serve God, but their worship is ignorantly. They are ignorantly worshiping Satan. And that is what is happening in this our generation. I discover this generation don't know God every day. They don't know God. Let us come to a stage that each and every one of us must avoid this mistake. Don't worship idol. Stop bowing down to Satan. Stop having faith in cross. Stop having faith in molten image called Blessed Virgin Mary. Stop having faith in anything called uh, uh, chaplet, rosary. Stop having faith even in anything that your church is practicing that is contradicting what scripture says. Stop having faith more in your prophet more than in God's word and in God Almighty. Stop having faith in this spiritual work that is going on in the, all these Pentecostals. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Don't forget to share this message to many people. Forward it to many people so that we can join hands together to save lives. Remember that my work is to prepare men for eternity. On the last day, we shall see there. May the Lord bless you. Drop your comments.